Learning more about one of the suspects the Orleans DA's office refused to prosecute after an arrest for illegally carrying a machine gun in the French Quarter during Mardi Gras. As David Jones reports, Assistant District Attorney Emily Maud dropped the charge against him and a, more than a dozen others. David. A decision by one of the top prosecutors in the office of New Orleans District Attorney Jason Williams to dismiss more than a dozen weapons cases has been highly criticized both by watchdog groups and by Williams himself. In one of those cases, the suspect may have broken a federal law. This particular case, I think, is the most egregious of all 19 cases. Orleans District Attorney Williams faces more scrutiny for the actions of one of his top prosecutors. One of the individuals who walked free on Mardi Gras, Keaton Mangavi, was accused of carrying a machine gun. The gist report, which a prosecutor has on hand during a first appearance bail hearing, says, quote, officers conducted a stop of the subject at Bourbon and Conti. It says they found the gun and, quote, back at the station, the officers observed the handgun was equipped with the machine gun conversion device, making the handgun a fully automatic firearm. We'll continue to fire until either the, you pull your finger off the trigger or the magazine runs out of ammunition. Fox 8 has reported on so-called Glock switches, which the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms says has become more prevalent. Somebody who uses a machine gun in furtherance of a drug trafficking offense or a federal crime of violence, such as carjacking, uh, the sentence is uh, sentence enhancement is 30 years. That's in addition to whatever the underlying charges are. This is a felony this is a weapon that has been uh, converted from a semi-automatic into an automatic. President of the Metropolitan Crime Commission, Rafael Goyeneche, says Assistant District Attorney Emily Ma dropped the ball, whether purposefully or out of neglect. The release of the arrested subjects was conditioned on giving up their weapons. Normally when charges are refused, you get your property back. But because in magistrate court, she said the state will refuse the charges if you, the arrested subject, agree not to reclaim your firearm. That's a give and take. That's a contract. That was done in open court on the record. McGavi, according to the gist sheet, is from Chattanooga and had at least two prior arrests for possession of a firearm in February and March of 2021. But when you see an out-of-state suspect with a felony charge for a fully automated handgun, uh, and he has priors, I think this in and of itself is enough to question Emily Ma and her decision making. Ma also dismissed a sexual battery case and a tr criminal trespassing case. Meanwhile, Mangavi could still face potential federal charges. We did reach out to the ATF and we are waiting to hear back. And the U.S. Attorney's Office says if the case fits the criteria, they will take it on.